Hi everyone, this is Crystal from Crystal's Crafts and Stuff.blogspot.com. I just wanted to share with everyone some projects that I've been working on. Actually, there's only two of them, but you have already had to think peek of the one. I've been working on these canvases that I've seen off of Arlene on YouTube, and her um, username she goes by is My Butterfly Kisses 12. She does these. Um, she's done a couple of these canvases that she had put on her YouTube channel. The one canvas she did was a Twilight canvas and it was absolutely beautiful. And this is what watching that video ins actually inspired me to try my own. I want to do a Twilight one for my sister for her birthday so I figured I'd give a do a couple first and then that's the way I have my practice in so hers will look much much better. But I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. Um, extremely, extremely happy. T took me a while to do this one, but in the end results, I'm very proud of it. This is my second canvas I did. This is my first one here. If you watched one of my haul videos, I showed you a sneak peek of it. Uh, it's just about done. The only thing is I just got to work on my edges here, and then that will be done for my mother. This one was a little bit different because the colors are much more bold in this one. And everything I kept trying to do with this one just was not working. But I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. I think it turned out pretty good too. But this one here was more of like a vintage look. Um, more subtle colors. So this one was a little bit easier to work with. So I'm just going to go ahead and explain really quick the products that I used on this. So if anyone has any questions. <coughs> You sort of know what kind of products I used. All my flowers on here are Prima flowers. And the centers of them are the Prima pearls and crystals. I distressed. Or I didn't distress. I um, colored the Prima flowers. These are the E-line flowers. I colored them with the distressed inks. The peeled paints. And the broken china. These tags here. I printed them all out off of my computer. My printer. And then I just ripped the papers, and then I just distressed, by ripping it, gave it more of a distressed look on there. But I uh, also um, took some, it was either old paper or antique linen, or the distressed things on the edges. And then I had sprayed some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist on it, and I used the Caramel Apple, so it gave it a real nice look, I thought. The key I used up here was from Making Memories, and it's the metal pe pebble key, the ledger one. I got those at Michael's. And the dog bones on here are from creativefiberarts.com, and I got, I think I got four of them for like 80 cents, so it was really cheap for those. So I printed these photos out in a sepia tone off of my printer. And then the dog paper in the back, I just cut them out, I took some scissors on the edges of them to give it a distressed look, and I used, on a couple of them, this one here, like I used the peeled paints and the um, antique linen and old paper and walnut stain, and then on these two, no, on this one here, I used the broken china, antique linen, old paper, and walnut stain. And then this one up here, I just used the walnut stain, antique linen, and um, old paper. So I wanted to give a little bit of a, just a different of a look on some of them. Then when them all being the same. I just, I don't know if I said this already, but um, I used some lace on here. I think I got the lace from Joann's. Uh, these glass gems I got from Michael's in the Halloween section and then on here also you can be able to tell um, this is a little bumpy on here and it's uh, Liquitex it's the glass bead glass beads Liquitex on this so it was a project but it did turn out really nice oh and the edges I used mm, just basic, I think it's basic, basic ribbon from Michaels, and then I took some walnut stain distressed ink on it, and then, uh, 
I just sprayed it down with some water and it took the darkness of the color away. So it looked really nice. But here's what the ribbon looked like. And you can tell I was playing. This is the end of it. But, um, yeah, that was that. So I just want to. So since I already explained all the uh, products I used, oh, and the paints I used on here were Goldens and Liquitex acrylic paints back in the art section at Michael's. All professional grade acrylics. I'm sure you can use the other acrylics on there. I don't know if it would make a difference or not, but that's just what I used. That's what uh, Arlene used over at My Butterfly Kisses, so that's what I used. So, I just wanted to go ahead and show everybody. This one here is my dog boxer. And then what I did right there, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. It says, Boxer, you always make me laugh. And you can see there's a dog bone there. And then these here, I just ripped these and then just twirl, you know, circled them up, pushed them up, and it circled underneath. So that was it for that. And then this one here is my dog, Nug. And I put Nug, you are very loyal and faithful to me. And then this is my dog, Butterball. And you hear him right there. And I put Butterball, you always make me smile. And very simple but it turned out very elegant I thought and then up here I just put these three boys hold a very special key to my heart and there's the key that I used um, these 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 are my boys they're like they are my kids so they're my babies and then so there was another shot of the ribbon that I did the only thing left I gotta do is just put my ribbon down under. I just gotta glue that down to the the, the wood back here. Or the canvas. But that's my project. I just wanted to share with everybody. And I just wanted to give Arlene a special thank you. Arlene, if you ever watch this video, thank you so very much for the inspiration for this project. I, I very much appreciate it. And um, keep up the good work, Arlene. All right, well, thank you, everybody, for joining me today to explain my project that I've been working on. And I hope you can give these a shot. And like, if so, watch Arlene's tutorial over at My Butterfly Kisses 12. And that's what helped me out, so I'm sure it will help you out. All right, thank you. Have a good day.